Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over signing into ProjectWise. At first you're going to get a blue screen and what this does is goes over the connection client. It kind of shows the settings and preferences and kind of what the connection client does. This I don't really like to populate so I click do not show again and this way it does not come up next time I log in. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and log into the connection client and type in our email address here. Now we do have a federated account, so the next thing we have to do is actually only have to click password. And what it does is it grabs a Windows token to log us in to connection client automatically. This makes it more convenient so we do not have to put in our password. Next we're going to go ahead and open up ProjectWise. And in ProjectWise there's three data sources. There's a archive, which is where our plan vault lies, where all the uh, PDFs lie and then the projects, and then training and testing. So we're going to go ahead and double click training and testing, and it's going to go ahead and log us in. And then you're going to get a working directory dialog here. What this does is it caches your documents that you check out of ProjectWise to your local machine under your app data, under your profile. This makes it so the next time you open that document, it's going to be much faster since it's on your local machine. So we're going to hit yes, and that's going to go ahead and create a directory. After logging into the training and testing data source, this is the directory that we see. So under documents is where all our folders are located. So here we have uh, OO close and active and cancel. This is where the projects that are closed, cancel, or inactive get transferred depending on the status in Ellis. Next we also have the O1 active projects. This is where the active projects lie that are in, from Ellis. Now this is training and testing, so this is a mimic of our Ohio DOT projects data source up here. So there will be no active projects in here. Instead we do testing. But next we have O2 sold projects, which this is where the projects go when the project status and LS change to sold. And then we have our O3 standards. And then next we have uh, an additional projects. This is where projects go with no pits which you don't really have a naming convention for these projects, like the active projects, which is based off PID, but we are looking into it. And speaking of active projects under our training data source, we have districts. And under the districts, we have counties. And we have an all district folder here, and then counties underneath as well. And this is where the projects will be placed, and active projects. So in District 6, for example, uh, we had a training for our central office, and we named these training folders after our username. And here I am at the top. So if I click that, I have design training and survey training. And under survey training, we have two PIDs for the training. So if you click on a PID such as this, which will display project properties at the bottom pane here, which will be in another training video. Now that the project has opened, we can see these project properties and all the files inside for our training. 